What's the deal, my people? You know what it is, Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you with another one. And this one is with the release of the new Godzilla vs. Kong promo trailer. I know that I can tell you and predict accurately exactly who's going to win the big fight between them and how this movie's going to end. And I'm going to tell you that right now. What's up, family? First, just let me say spoilers, because I am 99.9% .9 sure that what I'm going to say is going to pan out in this movie. So if you do not want to be spoiled, this is not the video for you. Next, let me say if this video does hit 500 likes, I will give away one month free of HBO Max to a subscriber who has left a comment on this video. Now, let's get into it. First, let me say, I think it's a great trailer. I like the special effects and holy shit, did they make Kong big? Well, you have to make Kong big because if he wasn't the size they made him, there's no way he could tackle Godzilla. There's no way he could even fight Godzilla. So let's get into exactly what's going to happen in the fight between them and exactly who's going to die at the end. That's what they say. One of them will fall. Someone's going to die. I'm going to tell you in this video right now who that's going to be. Now, first evidence is from the first fight we see, and we can call this round one Godzilla versus Kong. Why they would bring Kong to fight Godzilla in the water is beyond me. They must have went and sought out Godzilla for this particular fight. Everyone knows who's a Godzilla fan that Godzilla is strongest when he is in the water. So it's a bad move. Even to bring Kong out there, there was no way Kong could win this round one. So what we see is we see Kong land the big right hand. And he doesn't even drop Godzilla. He just staggers him back. You know, Godzilla takes that right on his chin, boy. He holds that down. You know what I mean? And then it's to show the block that he uses to knock Godzilla in the water. This is just showing that even with the strength of Kong that we see, there's no way he can physically outmatch Godzilla. And that's supposed to be his number one thing over Godzilla is his strength. And he can't even drop Godzilla with one punch. I mean, there was no Nate Robinson, Logan, Jake Paul, sorry, <laughs> Jake Paul situation going on there. But then we see Godzilla go into the water where he's most strong. And we see Godzilla shoot his blast from the water. And what do we see? We see Kong have to bail to get out of the way. That just shows you that if one of these blasts from Godzilla lands on Kong, it's lights out. Kong cannot take a blast from Godzilla. That's why you see him jump away. He has no choice but to jump away. And listen, that is basically, I think, how round one's going to end and how they feel that Kong did not hold it down this round and they have to do something to make him fight better versus Godzilla. So after realizing that Godzilla is just way too much for Kong, they have to upgrade Kong. He needs some type of weapon. He needs some type of superpowers. His Godzilla has powers. Not only is he strong, <laughs> and he swims in the water. Not only that, he has fire breath. He has electroshock. He has a multitude of power. King Kong has nothing but strength. But they're going to use, you know, what human beings has and let him eventually use an axe. Now, this axe looks like it's a part of Godzilla. Looks like it's from his back that he uses it from. And then we can see from this fight with the axe when King Kong is upgraded that he doesn't have to jump out of the way of the blast that that piece of his axe is able to absorb the blast that's where the trailer ends so they want you to think that hey King Kong has found a way to beat Godzilla I'm going to tell you right now there's no way King Kong could beat Godzilla it's just not a fair fight he just can't win but Godzilla will not be the one to make King Kong fall in the end. That is not what's going to happen. Godzilla will not kill King Kong. One consistent thing that we hear in the trailer is, we don't know why Godzilla's attacking these people. What's going on with Godzilla? Why would he flip on us like this? This is what you hear throughout the trailer. And they're saying that to you because you know and I know that Godzilla ain't doing that shit. I mean, Godzilla had a cartoon with Godzuki, right? You remember that back in the day? He's not that type of dude, all right? That's not Godzilla. 
who it is is Mecha Godzilla. We can clearly see this from this one picture. That's all you need to see. It doesn't matter about any other little things that go on in the trail that you see really fast. This picture right here proves one out a shadow of a doubt that this Mecha Godzilla is the one framing Godzilla for everything that's going on and that is the reason why these people are able to go and get Kong in the first place. Listen, it's not Godzilla. Unless it's Daenerys Targaryen riding on the back of goddamn Zilla. I can guarantee you that this is not Godzilla blowing shit up. If you don't know who Mecha Godzilla is, he is the robot Godzilla created by human beings. That's why you see in the background system charge because that's him. That's why people think it's Godzilla attacking because it looks just like him. So what's going to happen is that Kong and Godzilla will eventually have to team up to stop Mecha Godzilla. But it won't happen like that in the end. Mecha Godzilla will kill King Kong, but he, King Kong will do it as a sacrifice. Like King Kong will sacrifice himself in order to save Godzilla or this little girl. One of them will be saved. Most likely, be a combination of both, but it'll be definitely be Kong saving this little girl. That's why they keep showing her. That's what she's all about. He has a connection with her, and Kong always does this. This is exactly how it goes in all the old movies. King Kong always dies. He's not going to live. That's the bottom line. He's going to sacrifice himself for either Godzilla and this little girl. I put my money on this little girl. That's how this movie is going to end. I don't think that Godzilla will defeat Mecha Godzilla in this movie. That will have to happen in the second movie that they put out the next one after this i guarantee you that's the way it's going to end but you tell me what you think in the comment section and again make sure you are subscribed and you leave a comment and this video hits 500 likes i will be giving away one month free of hbo max hopefully you can use that month on the month when this movie drops so you can watch this movie so, if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this, please spread this across the realm, and please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace, and stay sexy.